Hello. Happy Sunday to you. I hope everybody is well. I hope everybody is feeling good on this beautiful Sunday. Today is Sunday, April 30th. We're going to be in May tomorrow. Shout out to all my May babies out there. Those of us that have birthdays in the month of May. I myself am one of them. Hi guys. Good morning, Liz. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are. Again, I hope you're having a beautiful Sunday. I hope you had a fantastic weekend. And I wish you a beautifully wonderful week ahead. Yes? So um, I'm just going to do a random reading here for the collective. Um, I did this last week, last Sunday actually, and I rewatched, and I wanted to rewatch re -watch the reading anyway, but I ended up rewatching the reading last night is when I finally got around to it. And I realized that a lot of what, <clears throat> a lot of what I channeled in that reading um, was a lot of what I personally experienced throughout the following week. Um, and you guys know, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know that I often resonate quite heavily with a lot of the messages that come through for the collective here, right? And that, that is a function of me having gone through things and gotten my own perspective so that I can then bring it to you guys and we can all discuss it and I can help you guys figure out what, it, what the fuck is going on for you, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm saying all that to say. I, kind of, I just kind of want to do kind of like the same thing. Now, this is a timeless situation. This is a timeless reading. But this could also um, resonate with your week ahead. All right? So if you want to look at it that way, go ahead and do that. And I encourage you to, if you want to come back next week and see how this resonated for you, I highly recommend you do that. I do plan on um, putting these up on uh, face Not Facebook. Facebook. I'm not even on Facebook anymore. Um, YouTube. I just put last week's reading up yesterday. Maybe I won't wait a whole week, but I'm not going to do it right away. Maybe a few days. Um, so yeah. So I am taking a moment to roll myself a cigarette and I do have to use my rolling machine today because I, it is, y'all, it is hot and humid and muggy. Now, 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 when I say humid though, like the humidity here in Puerto Rico is nothing like the humidity in like say Texas or Florida or New York. Okay, it's not. It's so much better down here. Like when I first moved here, um, I didn't even notice the humidity. I was like, humidity, what fucking humidity? There is like zero humidity in the air, but I was just, I don't know, living, uh, the islands or at least the, the Caribbean, like tropical islands are perfect for me. The climate is ridiculous. But I, I say all this to say, my hands are clammy. So I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to roll this myself. So I have to use my rolling machine. Hello, DM33. How are you, bro? It's good to see you. David, that's right. I couldn't remember your name for a second, but now I remember. Okay, guys, um, <clears throat> so I did, uh, I did, a, I, I shared a message on Patreon yesterday. Um, it was more of like a story time. If you aren't on Patreon yet, um, and you want to try, I, I suggest you give it a, you give it a go. Aren't they though, Ashley? They're fucking lifesavers. <laughs> Especially living down here, man, because there are times where it's just like, my hands are just so wet with sweat, so clammy that there is, there is no way I'm rolling it myself. Anyway, if you're not on Patreon yet, and you do, if you're, if, honestly, if you're really finding yourself resonating with what this, these collective messages here, you might as well just go ahead and head, head over to Patreon because we get more of it there. We have more discussions there. You have more access to me there, okay? So just keep that in mind. But I, I shared a message on Patreon yesterday. It was story time, but it was out, out of this dream that I had. And I'm not gonna go into details because, um, because join Patreon. <laughs> but um, there's this, there's a theme right now of old contracts being broken, old circumstances being broken, changed, corrected even, course correction. That's what spirit wants to talk about with the, with the, inst with the collective right now, course correction. There is a great 
big, there is a grandiose, I'm hearing, course correction that's happening right now, okay? So we want to dis discuss that with you. Says so spirit, says the divine. Hold on a second. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm ready now. Let's do this. I hope everybody is well. It's good to see you all. Please don't fret. If you are catching this session in the middle and you want to see it from the beginning, don't you worry. It will still be here. And it will end up on YouTube at some point, probably by Wednesday-ish. And if you don't know, youtube.com slash divine conversations. Link is in my bio. Two more shuffles. Course correction. Great deal. A great deal of course correction. Course, course correction is happening, okay? And this is something that is happening within the deepest, like the core of your soul, okay? This is like, this is major life-changing, major contractual shifts in your life. I'm talking like your life contract, your life plan being reworked, rewritten somehow in a majorly substantial way is how I want to say is what I'm wanting to hear. Two more shuffles. Ah, look, the sun. Okay, the sun and the nine of, Pent and nine of pentacles. All right, so I, I, mean, I am going to tell you this bit um, because this is literally what the dream was, uh, what it included. For me, I had a dream that the sun exploded. Um, and it didn't like, completely obliterate, it didn't explode because and, and like disappear. It exploded in terms of something within it. All right, I'm just gonna share this with the collective because this needs to be shared, so we're gonna do that. Um, it exploded in a sense of something that was within it. Something that was written into it was ejected, okay? Now, um, of course, in this dream, my 3D mind, my ego mind was like, holy shit, the world is ending. <laughs> <laughs> but when I woke up and I thought about it, I started to think of it this way. Um, and I've said this before to the collective, um, and this is something, an understanding that I got from reading part of the Law of One, which is channeled a, a channeled message by a collective consciousness known as Ra, R-A, okay? But the sun, our sun, and any sun in any solar system is called or considered a logos, L-O-G-O-S. And the sun is a living entity. Okay, the sun is a living being, and the sun contains the programming, the desired experiences and circumstances that are that, 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 that existence, God, uh, source, all of us, what we all come from, what that universe is meant for, what is meant to be experienced within that universe, i.e. those planets. So like our solar system, we have Mars, Mercury, Earth, Saturn, and going on, right? Okay, well, our sun contains the, the written framework, they're saying, the, um, the, uh, the, the experiences that, that are desired, the beings that are meant to be here, evolve here, including humans, okay? The sun contains all of that programming. And the sun projects all of that programming throughout the solar system to, in turn, have the experiences that are meant to have be had right so that means the sun is in control the sun has all the answers or the sun it has is driving the ship here we'll say all right any sun so when I had this dream that I saw the sun explode you could say okay well maybe that's the big collective sun or maybe it's my personal sun the sun that is me just like the sun that is you okay that contains your programming your soul you could even say the sun is the soul of the universe well, not the universe, the solar system, excuse me. Any given solar system. The sun is the soul of that solar system, right? Okay. So, this is why I'm telling you all of this. Because this is where this course correction is coming from. And what do we have here that's showing up? The sun and the nine of pentacles. Here's the thing, you guys. As long as you are standing in your independence, in your sovereignty, the Nine of Pentacles, you, and, and, and excuse me, and are shining your light, you can go anywhere and you can do anything as long as you are being authentically you. You are standing on your own Nine of Pentacles. 
you are standing in your sovereignty. So that means, the greater message here within this dream that I had is, that means that any soul contract that was written, whether it was before you incarnated in this lifetime as this individual, or as you have been living your life in this incarnation and you have been going through things and writing contracts and reading, rewriting contracts and circumstances with people. I hope this is making sense. But anything, but I think really, really the main message here, especially even though, even the ones that you wrote before you were born, as you were planning out this lifetime, because yes, we planned this. That's a whole other topic. But those can be changed too but only if and when it's necessary. And it seems at this point for the collective here, there are certain circumstances that we are experiencing, that we have been experiencing, that, are, that just need to be let go of at this time. Because we're seeing that it's a failed experiment. While there may have been victories, while there may have been circumstances in which you succeeded in your goal, or you, you, you succeed overall, I'm hearing it's a grand, it's a grandiose failure, but that's okay. The Logos says so. The Logos says, that's okay. That's what we're doing this experiment for. This is all an experiment, guys. What happens if we do this? And if we, and it, we, what happens if we do take all of these different things and we spend a lot of time here thinking about it, planning it out, what do we want? And we put it all in this, in this sun. And then we put it in the universe and we let it play out. The sun projects that programming. The logos projects that programming. The logos says, hey, it's okay. That's what we're doing the experiment for. And if it is necessary for you to eject this from your experience, then by all means, honey, go ahead and do it. I'm not telling you you can't make changes. What I'm saying to you, what I'm really asking for of you is to play out the story that we've planned. Stop resisting. And if it really doesn't serve you, we can eject it at any time. But you have to live it first. You have to experience it first. You have to play it out first. <laughs> then you have the Knight of Pentacles here. Okay, so wait, hold on. Hold on now, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Because as I was putting the deck down, it split, and so that's where we got the Knight of Pentacles from. But underneath the sun, we do have the Three of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Oof. Well, first thing I'm wanting to say here is that someone has just, have got, to, has just got to let this go. Whatever this energy is, this heartbreak, Three of Swords, uh, this could be fairly recent, um, but I feel like it's, it's deeper than that. It's much more challenging um, than what's, on, what, uh, what's underneath the surface is much more challenging than what can just be seen from the surface. I understand that, okay. Uh, but what I'm getting here, you guys, in terms of this, with this Six of Pentacles here, what you really need to ask yourself is, is this truly serving me? I feel like somebody is holding on to some sort of regret, sh shame, remorse, Three of Swords, Five of Cups. So, what I want to say about it is, ask yourself, is this really serving you, Six of Pentacles? Holding on to it in this way, is it really serving you? The sun. The sun is asking you to do it. Your internal self, your soul, your soul, your higher self, whatever you want to say about it, the sun, whatever. It's asking you, to stand on your own and change these circumstances for yourself is literally what I just heard. Nine of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, then we have the King of Swords. Wow, the King of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Pentacles. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. I'm seeing the Eight of Pentacles here, the High Priestess, and I'm also seeing the Tower. Someone have, is having the clarity of mind 
to take a leap of faith and step out on their own. Uh, this is this is pretty serious. Someone is pretty serious here. King of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Pentacles. I want to say that someone here, this person, is de determined, and I'm also even hearing demanding, to take a firmer stance or demanding that they or some maybe someone else take a firmer stance i don't know take a firmer stance on something is what i want to say about it king of swords someone is also hmm. give me a second because there's a lot to absorb here because i also i also have the eight of pentacles the high priestess and the tower what i want to say right now you guys is that there is some sort of determination to turn this turn this thing around or start something over or something like that and i feel like somebody has been working towards something and has been following their intuition whether they were consciously aware that they were following their intuition or not <clears throat> they just had this gut feeling this knowing and they were just following it and the work that they have been doing or are doing and are doing continuing whatever you're continuing it's it's going to lead to a tower moment But this tower moment is going to bring things down, bring things around you down that needed to be out of there to begin with. That's what this King of Swords, uh-huh, that's what this is. King of Swords, the Fool, and the Page of Pentacles. Like I said, there is a, uh, maybe I didn't say it, there is a need to start over. There is a desire, a want to start, but... Uh, start some sort of circumstance over on more solid ground. It's like you're, t you're it's like you're you're digging everything up and tilling the soil to just begin again completely over but this time you're much more aware much more knowledgeable and i also want to say here you because again you have the eight of pentacles you have the high wow okay i'm going to take all of this too yes holy shit you have the uh eight of pentacles the high priestess the king of cups justice and then oh and then the tower judgment and the lovers whoa Someone is definitely, like, there's, there's a phoenix energy here. And I feel like someone has been working, 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 and they're getting faster and faster and more efficient. And they're just, uh, eventually, they're just going to, like, blast out, out, out of some sort of... Because you have, because someone's heart is really in this. That's what this King of Cups represents here. So you have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody's been working on something. You could have just been working on yourself and you were following your intuition, some sort of higher guidance. This is also kind of giving me star energy, but it's much more, no, it's really, it really is either your intuition or a gut feeling that you've, you, you've just been following for so long. And now there's some, your belief, your heart, your heart is in it somehow and that's that's the tipping that's what's going to tip the scales if this hasn't happened already guys that's what's once someone's heart is set on something or gets in the right vibration or in the right mo motion or once someone's heart gets up to speed is what i want to say the once their vibration gets up to speed to the frequency that is necessary it's going to tip the scales man justice and then boom the tower with judgment this feels swift i mean this feels swift you guys the tower to judgment to lovers to the lovers so this means that this could either be two individuals coming together maybe there's been a waiting game that's been played here maybe a little bit i just heard that or it could even if it's not like to like a romantic thing because i am feeling a non-romantic side to it but like even if it's not that this still could have been some sort of waiting game but really i really feel like the, the the waiting game was for you to do the work not to say that you haven't been okay but the waiting game was yeah i'm literally seeing someone ramping up and getting more and more efficient and and the frequency rising and all of a sudden boop, it just everything just you just reach that critical mass and I guess you evolve what are you a fucking Pokemon now <laughs> you reach that level of experience okay maybe you're not a Pokemon but you are maybe you're a, you're you're a player in the game right 
you can go ahead and absolutely consider this an RPG, bro. Anyway, I hope this is making sense. I haven't even like shuffled yet. Okay, well, that's cool. I'm gonna leave that where it is. And let's see if we can get another message for the collective. How about that? That sounds like a good idea. Oh, Liz and Zemi Rose, I'm glad that was helpful. I hope everyone's doing well. We're gonna get a new message for the collective here. What, we, what does the collective need to know at this time, please? Hmm. I'm seeing a lavender color. I'm hearing regret, remorse, shame, fear, <laughs> lament. Someone may be, lost, may be mourning the loss of um, a friend or family member, and if that's the case, I am a friend, family member, loved one, whatever. It could even be a pet. If that's the case, I, I, uh, my heart absolutely goes out to you. Hugs and kisses and all the love to you at this time. Someone feels like they have something to lament, maybe even repent for. Yikes. Um, I'm not going to go there. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this two more shuffles. But yeah, I I'm seeing this like lavender color. Hi, Lamore. How are you, love? Hi, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do the card. Oh! First card out is the Ace of Cups. Apologies. I am hearing I'm sorry. Ooh. I want to take a second and make sure I'm <laughs> tuning into this <clears throat> correctly. Okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. You're stuck in your head. Somebody here, somebody here is the Queen of Cups. All right? And they are the whole package. They're ready to get married. They're ready to settle down. Okay? And they are ready to not only receive a cup from someone, but hand a cup to someone. Ace of Cups here, okay? But then there's strength. Because this is a Queen of Cups that has actually learned her lesson and is balanced. This is actually, this is actually an empress. This is actually an empress. But, this is an empress that is channeling her energy into the Queen of Cups side of her at this time. In order to settle down and get married. Is what I want to say. Strength, Four of Wands, Queen of Cups, Ace of Cups, okay? And then here she is also, the Magician. But, we have the Magician with the Eight of Swords and the Five of Cups. Because of this guy here, this King of Wands energy with the Five of Wands. Now, as I'm speaking through this, you guys, I feel like this King of Wands could also be this same person. For others of you though, this is an individual um, that you can't seem to shake. I'm hearing that you can't seem to get rid of. Uh, I don't know if... Okay, what I'm hearing... What I'm hearing is that he's not an, a, an ideal candidate. It's not an ideal... It's not a divine partnership, so I don't want it. Is what I just heard.
personally, I find that funny because, um, only because I recently came to a, an understanding of looky here, y'all. If it gives me what I've been looking for, praying for, if it is in alignment with my mission at any t given time of my life, I don't care whether it's a whether it's through a divine partner or it's through a soulmate. I don't give a fuck. If it's giving, if it is answering my prayers and it is an alignment alignment with my path forward and what I feel my whatever mission divine divine mission whatever what any of that shit is as long as it's an alignment i don't give a flying fuck whether it's a divine partner or not sorry not sorry because why because because for me it's like why should i ever have to wait for anyone else when they're not ready that's okay it, shit i've been many times i'm not ready there are many things i'm not ready for too but if i show up in a in a, in a situation ready to T to honor a relationship and, and work towards at least and then at, at most take it to the next level and the person that I'm interacting with in this way just quite isn't ready yet that's fine cool go, go, no hate no shade but I'm not gonna sit here and wait no one should and that's what I feel like part of what that dream was for me part of that understanding that belief system being ejected from my data for my DNA, if I guess, you could, if you will, I don't know. I rolled this a little too tight, a little too fat. Mm -mm. Okay, look, I want to understand, because I feel like this is another person. This Five of Wands this, and the King of Wands that you just can't seem to shake. Yeah, see, four of pentacles, five of swords is at the bottom of the deck. Eight of cups, queen of swords. I, I want to know who this guy is. Who is this king of wands? Why is he here? Four of cups. Are you shitting me? Is this someone that rejected you? Or, no, you rejected them. It could be either. No, what I'm hearing is you rejected them. Yeah, and you're holding, you're standing your ground. Seven of Wands. Maybe for some of you, it did start turn start out at, yup. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Just as I was saying that. But what I was saying was, for some of you, it may have started out where... Where they turned you down, and you walked away. And then they were shown the light or something happened and something changed and now they want you back. And just as I was saying that, you guys, the sun fell out on this king of wands. <laughs> he saw the light. Fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah, see, and then what comes out here, the two of swords reversed. You know, I, and what I'm hearing with the two of swords reversed, you are not keeping anything hidden and you are also not blind to this situation you see exactly what's going on here. There is no illusion involved here for you. And as this Queen of Cups here, you are so focused on your, do you see how intently she is focused on that cup? You're not even trying to hear what this King of Wands has to say. Now, for some of you, this could be an internal battle, an internal struggle here with this Five of Wands also, okay? This could be a part of you that you have needed to let go of for a very long time and just failed to have done so until now because now, through all the pain, through all the strife, you have been able to find your cup or what is more fulfilling for you. And you are trying to keep your focus there because you are understanding that if you keep your focus there, you will be able to create more of it. I... You also have the Magician with the Eight of Swords here. I feel like you are really keep you, I mean, you are trying to stay so focused. And I feel like you might be, uh, this, mm, I understand, you know, this is one of the, yeah, okay. There's, this is one of the rare times where um, I, uh, I kind of understand want, needing to, or feeling like you need to be, or maybe even wanting to be in a little bit of an Eight of Swords energy because you are just trying to keep your mind so focused, so entrained, okay? I get it, but th this focus might be a little extra too heavy, <laughs> okay? It might be a little bit destructive here, all right? So just keep that in mind. I, that's all I want to say about that, okay? But then at the bottom of the deck, 
and what wants to come with it is the Hierophant with the Ace of Cups. What this is saying here is love is the ruler here. Now, I, I, I don't know how many of you have heard me say this lately, but lately I've been seeing the Hierophant as like some sort of higher authority of your own self. Okay, just like the Hierophant would represent uh, institutions, maybe even rules and regulations, uh, commerce, the kind of uh, government, uh, you know, uh, uh, the police, uh, uh, FBI, like, you know, that, that kind of thing, right? Well, that, the, the Hierophant, in my opinion, as a reader, can also represent that same type of governance, governance system for yourself for your own life, for your own soul, for your own being in terms of what it is you want to be doing and experiencing here in life, right? Ace of Cups is with this. This is where you are focused here as this Queen of Cups. And you're not trying to be distracted by no King of Wands. Again, this could be an, your own internal battle as well is something that I am definitely hearing here. Um, the King of Wands sees the light. Why does the King of Wands see the light? What the Five of Swords. He may have seen what he has done to you. He may have seen how he has done you wrong. He sees where he may have misjudged you. Next is the King of Swords for him. He understands clearly now, or at least he can see things objectively. Someone may be, and now, granted, guys, we are still Mercury retrograde here, so okay, people could, I don't have the Six of Cups yet, but this could be someone trying to return to your life with some sort of communication surrounding them seeing how their ways or their misjudgments of you um, mishandled the situation. But I believe you're fighting them on, them on that. That's why this Five of Wands is here, okay? And then... Uh, uh, okay, but then also before we move on, I will, uh, at the bottom of the deck, overall energy, four of pentacles. For some of you, this person, this king, whoever this king of wands is, again, this could be an internal part of yourself, but whomever this king of wands is, for some of you, this guy is, or gal, whomever, is pretty possessive. You might want to be careful of that. Okay? Just saying. It, for others of us, that it's not that extreme. Um, the Four of Pentacles just represents a, a, wanting to hold on to something, is what I'm hearing. Wanting to have something to hold on to, but holding on dearly to you or this connection between the two of you because I'm he literally hearing, I don't want us to break up yet. Why would you ever want to break up? But I don't want us to break up yet. Oh, no, I get it. I don't want us to break up yet. I mean, I'm getting there, but I don't want it to happen yet. Yeah, well, hey, it's Mercury retrograde, you guys. But somebody wants to hold on to this. They're not really willing to let go of it yet. They see the error of their ways. Again, they see the light. Why is this Five of Wands here? Knight of Pentacles. Ooh, the Empress. There she is. I told you. There's the Empress. Um, hold on. Why is the Five of Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why is the Five of Wands here? That's a, ooh, chow. Ooh, okay. You, okay, so well, uh, here we go. Someone's gonna have to pass a test. Basically, is what this boils down to. All right, because the reason why the Five of Wands is here is because now, I really feel like this is really, especially if this is someone that's external to you, but hey, maybe this could be playing out internally. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, none, none of my business. Anyway, I'm just reading the energy. <laughs> okay, Five of Wands is here because we have the Empress showing up. Now, this really could also be including someone else, but then have an internal battle going on because of it, too, because this Empress is here. And, well, okay, this Empress is here and she's requiring a, a, a King of Pentacles energy. Not a King of Wands. So someone has got to show and prove that they, they can own up to this, okay? Because as it stands right now, I'm smelling roses. As it stands right now, it doesn't look so good. 
why we are here to begin with. That's why we are in this conflict. Okay? That's why we had this show up on top of her, the Queen of Cups. But remember, I was saying, this is an empress who is showing as her Queen of... who is, who is focused in her Queen of Cups side. Okay. Excuse me. Doesn't look so good for you, buddy, right now. But then, then, but then the internal battle, the internal struggle is also that, well, do I even allow this person? Do I even want to go through the process of rebuilding, of mending this relationship with this person? Only for them, only for them to end up falling short? I don't know. Now, overall energy here of this, talk about this internal, this battle, this conflict, this five of wands, you have the two of wands, to the Hierophant, to the seven of cups. And this is where I'm saying, someone's gonna have to pass this test, cause check it out. Don't you remember me saying? This is where you are focused right now. Love is the governance here. This is love for self. This is being this is being in alignment with your higher will for your own self. And not only being in alignment with it, but following through with it or having the intention and having having the intention and then following also following through with it. Having the intention to follow through with it and then following through with it. You may not have had an opportunity yet, but hey, to checks and balances, checks and balances. These are the checks and balances of your own self. That's the fence you're sitting on, okay? Well, either someone is going to have to take the steps to prove that they can stand in this King of Pentacles energy with them, with the Empress, or if this is more applicable to you, you are going to have the revelation you need. Damn it! Yes, there we go. We're coming back full circle. You will have the revelation you need in order to move forward. I'm hearing in order to get this circus on the road. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, and look then, looky here. Look at what we have. The Six of Cups with the Knight of Wands. There they are. There they are. Coming back, swooping in, saying, hey, I want to talk to you. <laughs> With the lovers and the Ten of Cups, shut the fuck up. And the Three of Pentacles, shut the fuck up. And the Six of Swords and the world, shut the fuck up. Are we ending conflict? I'm literally seeing someone run to someone else and like grabbing them and saying, I want to be with you. Cycles are ending big time, you guys. As soon as someone walks away, they finally get it. And then they want to come running. And I'm not saying that to mock anybody. I'm literally, I'm, I'm really no judgment. If that's what it takes, as long as you go running to that person that you're in love with, I don't give a flying fuck what happens. Because ultimately, love is winning and being expressed. So however the fuck you want to get there, baby, go ahead and do it. As long as you are running to the arms of that person that you love, I don't give a flying fuck. Hey, Dee Dee. Okay, now I did do a reading for myself today using this deck that I want to close out this session with. Um, but I also use Tarot. I use this deck actually, and a big this kept coming kept coming out for me, and so I'm not surprised it's coming out for the collective right now. Temperance, and this is this is one of those literal moments where this card here represents divine timing. You are being asked to sit your pretty little ass down and let things work themselves out right now, because it's going to happen. The universe is churning. You just are not consciously aware of it yet. But you'll see in the future. All right. I'm going to close out this session and I'm going to use the dreams of Gaia Turo. Perfect. Excellent. 
excellent, Christina. Hey, Sharon. <laughs> Queen of Fire. The Maiden. <sighs> Express yourself fully. Don't be afraid to take chances. Queen of Fire, The Maiden. Last shuffle. All right, closing message, please. Ooh. We got two cards. Wow. Um, excuse me. We have the Eight of Earth and Journey. And then overall energy, we have the Father. With then with the Seven of Air. Oh my goodness. Um, and with this father and eight of earth uh, figure, this is a masculine and feminine figure. So the first thing I'm thinking of is creati creativity, is birth, uh, creation, creating new life, giving birth, um, the balance, wholeness, unity, balance between masculine and feminine. Okay. We're gonna read journey first and now these these tend to be um, a little lengthy here so bear with me I'm gonna do the best I can <sighs> um, oh okay I'm just gonna read the meaning uh, journey the journey card represents the first of the eight influence cards interesting we have that with the eight of earth <laughs> okay I don't know if that's what they mean by that, but it's an eight, so there you go. Uh, the journey card represents the first of the eight influence cards. Oh no, I get what they're saying now. It doesn't mean that, but that's okay. Your life journey, your past, is made up of choices, experiences, and moments that have shaped and created the person you are in the present. You are the sum total of all that you have experienced, and your journey and the person it has manifested plays a foundational role in every choice and every decision you make. Your journey has influenced your personality and character. You have been shaped by your successes and failures, triumphs and mistakes, heartbreaks and healing, the moments you have been alone and the moments you have shared with others. Your journey has shaped your likes and dislikes, your biases, your beliefs, and has governed all action. If you look back at your life, you will see that you have moved through one uh, through from one moment and experience to the next you have faced obstacles overcome them and you have had moments that have brought you so low you did not believe that you could continue to live you have had your heart broken and believed it would never heal but it did and once it healed you then traveled forward to the next moment forever changed the choices you have made from that point onwards were influenced by what the past taught you you have also experienced times of intense joy and bliss where the moment has been perfect. You have loved with every fiber of your being and laughed until you cried. These moments have also had their influence for they have made you lighter in spirit and moved you forward. The journey card represents the life you have led and will lead and how it has shaped you, changed you, created you and influenced every choice you have ever made and ever will make and every experience you have ever had and ever will have. Wow. And I'm literally hearing, look how far you've come. Now we have that with the aid of Earth, uh, which is right here. Oh, okay. <laughs> The Eight of Earth represents or symbolizes success, wealth, and love, the manifestations of a positive attitude, doing what you love, and loving what you do. This is a very optimistic card, one that suggests a time of abundance, fruitfulness, and a good harvest ahead, a peaceful, happy home, career, confidence, the respect of your peers. What more could you ask for? All the seeds born of the past planting of past planting are growing well, and you can be confident that the outcome you, will, you need will manifest. 
this can also be a good time to think about taking that next big leap rather than resting on your laurels. You have it within you to go further and reach greater heights if you so desire, especially if you remain committed to doing everything to the best of your ability. The Eight of Earth signifies a time to look to, acknowledge, and celebrate your successes, and perhaps to start making new plans for the future as well. Hello, I just said, look how far you've come. Hi, lovely woman smile. Hi, Adam. Look at how far you've come. I, we really should be celebrating your successes here. And then with father at the bottom of the deck and then the seven of air here, this is both at the bottom of the deck. I'm, I'm just channeling now, but um, this is giving me like a proud father looking down on their kids or their child and seeing the good that they're doing. And with this seven of swords, this, well, seven of air, um, I, I don't know what the book says because this is not traditional tarot. This is a completely different, like many of you are familiar with this, um, the, the Dreams of Gaia, right? The, yes, the Dreams of Gaia Tarot. This came out years ago when I actually, right, right around when I, well, at least it was popular, right around when I started doing readings on YouTube, um, somewhere close to that. That was like back in 2018. But um, anyway, this is a completely different system. So these don't necessarily have the same meaning and it's a bigger deck, right? It's a completely different system. Um, but I'm just intuitively speaking here, what I'm seeing is with father and then the seven of air. The seven of air to me is representing good luck, being looked at in favor by the universe, um, intellectual, I, I don't, I just, it's giving me, it's giving me Jupiter vibes, but like it's giving me like Saturn, you're passing the test or like you're passing the test of Saturn or Saturn is allowing you to uh, move, be released forward to then, to now experience the blessings of Jupiter. If that makes sense. God, ha God is looking down in favor upon you. God is smiling if that's the way you would want to see it. Or the universe, yeah, well, the creator, whomever, I don't know. Okay? That's what I'm seeing there. So in your journey so far, you really should be proud of yourself because uh, great wealth and abundance is coming to you. You're about to be very wealthy. And I don't just mean like riches and finances. Actually, your finances may look like absolute literal dog shit, <laughs> but you could be so abundant in so many more ways. And, and, and all the other ways that you are abundant would make up for the dog shit of a bank account or finance system you've got going on, right? <laughs> Doesn't it though? But like, really, really, sit down with yourself and be honest. Be honest with yourself. Doesn't it work out? Aren't you still here? Did you forget that? I don't know how. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Oh, I love you guys. Okay. I think that's it. That's good, right? I should go clean up because I got to go to work. Oh my God. <laughs> Morgan, I miss you so very much. <laughs> Hello, my love. It's good to see you. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic Sunday. You're welcome, Christina. <sighs> that was fun. We should do this again. Okay. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>